Yeah. Nerima, what are your thoughts on this? Should the former president just take a seat back from politics? I don't think he has been that outwardly involved. He hasn't been campaigning and going out and making speeches in public rallies. Um, but I do think that, I mean, he's allowed to do whatever he wants to do. Right now, he has not been voted by anybody. And so he's a citizen and he has his own free will protected by our very own constitution. And I do feel that a lot that is happening, which I mentioned earlier, is that we're seeing the battle of ego wars. And it's so funny to me, I was um, speaking with a friend of mine yesterday and I said, you know, there's always a narrative that we should never have women or in executive leadership, because can you imagine if we had women who are president? They're so emotional and emotive. Uh, countries might not even talk to each other because they're <laughs> upset with one another. Huh, it's interesting that we see men particularly uh, being very emotive and emotional about things. And a lot of the videos and images that we see, it is men at the fore uh, arguing and fighting and being kicked out of houses uh, instead of being able to conversate maturely and with no emotion. So today I'm happy to be able to throw that to the other gender, because <laughs> it is always thrown to women. Uh, so I do think um, that the president is allowed to do whatever he wants to do, but I do feel that politicians are losing sight. Uh, we are seeing battles of, we remember when our president was deputy, there were a lot of occasions where he was treated unfairly and we were able to see that with the public. Right now it looks like it's payback time, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, we need to be focusing on other things yeah. uh, rather than these back and forth kind of wars to make sure that he goes through exactly what he, go he went through okay. is what it begins to look like.